Pico Boulevard in Los Angeles has turned into a virtual carnival on the occasion of Logba Omer, thanks to the Chabad Lubavitch of Los Angeles. And you see the traffic has stopped. The street has turned into a pedestrian holiday carnival. And let's talk to some of the people about what Lagba Omer is all about. Lagba Omer is the day of passing or the day of ascension to heaven of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, a great sage, a great Kabbalist, the, the actual owner, the, the author of the Zohar. Um, it's also the day that we commemorate that the students of Rabbi Akiva stopped dying. So it's a day where we celebrate the light of Torah and the light of the inner workings of the Torah. And it's a day of great blessings. During the Omer, which is typically not a day for celebrating or listening to music. Where does today fit? So today, according to some customs, is one day off. According to other customs, it's the end of that period of mourning. But either way, according to all customs, today's a day we can rejoice and have live music and real celebration. Who organized this event today? This event was organized by Chabad of California, Kol Yaakov Yehuda, um, Chabad of the Valley was very involved as well, and there were specific people. There's Rabbi Mendel Duchman, of course, Rabbi Baruch Shlomo Kunin, Rabbi Tzemach Kunin, um, Yossi Burstin, Jonathan Herzog, uh, myself, Rabbi Chaim Mintz was one of the MCs, and uh, many, many others who worked really hard to put it together. Just, you know, incredible. It's Rabbi Shimon's yard site, you know, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. And it's just a time to be just very happy. And it's just so amazing. There's so many good things, and Jews coming together and doing great things. Only in America can 20,000, 30,000, however many people are at these parades around the country, get together and it's peaceful and it's about love and it's about caring about your neighbor. This is, this is the best of America you're seeing right here. So this is, a, this is a neighborhood which is imperiled by terror risks. Is there an, a recognition of that within the fire department? Uh, absolutely. We, uh, we are always trying to remain vigilant on um, suspicious things going on in the neighborhood. Um, we, you know, we're constantly driving around the streets, meeting with the business owners, and uh, things of that nature. Dad, we got uh, security, private, and volunteers. We're also working very close with the LAPD and the fire department. So we're pretty much safe. But we're also a little bit vulnerable because we're out here in the open. So, we're, but we're also taking every measure and every precaution to be safe. Well, this really represents two things. Firstly, it represents what America is, how we can march in the streets with pride. It also represents the Lubavitcher Rebbe's idea and message and vision back in the 1950s to say, rather than curling up in a corner post-Holocaust, we'll take it to the streets and we'll bring Jewish children and we'll bring Jewish pride to the streets. Today this is happening actually not only in America, this is happening all over the world. There are Lagbomer parades in almost every country today. Because you hear about violence at protests, this is a gathering of thousands of people and all you're seeing is peace and love and children being taught to pray and to love their neighbor and to honor their parents. You know, we spread these messages to the world. We spread goodness. I think it's great. I think uh, they put their money where their mouth is, you know? Lubavitch is all about execution, results, and making, uh, making an impact. So I think they did great work. Do you feel in a minority here without a beard? No, no, not at all. Welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. It, that's that's LA, you know. It's it's a whole melting pot of, of Jews, so I feel I feel right at home. You know what? I know anti-Semitism exists. I don't live in a world of candy hearts and flowers. I'm not blind, but those are fringe lunatics. Most people like Jews and respect Jews, and I want to say to my fellow Christians, we love you too. You're good people. We're good people, and we both make this country great. You know, right, right as we're you know sitting here walking around, I see plenty of people. It's a big mix of all Jews, you know. I think that what's hurting the Jewish people is a 52% intermarriage rate, and so my message to everybody, whether you're Reform, Conservative, I don't have to tell the Orthodox; they already know, is please tell your children to marry other Jews and have Jewish children, because. Hitler failed to wipe us out. Iran is not going to wipe us out. 
but assimilation and marrying non-Jews is what could wipe us out. So if you want more parades like this going for centuries to come, we must have more Jewish children, whatever their denomination. How about if there were chemicals uh, released, or is there hazmat capability within the S Same thing, and yes, actually over my over my left shoulder over here, you see one of our city's uh, hazardous materials squads, and uh, those types of resources would be uh, called out if there was any uh, suspicion of any type of uh, chemical or biological agents uh, in the in the air. Protest. This was about Jewish pride and Jewish unity, and this is the way we celebrate with peace and with love and with music and with excitement. And uh, those that are looking for hate and murder, uh, God has to protect us from them, and they'll have to do their own thing. But uh, that's not for us. And to anybody out there that has ever disliked a Jew. This is a message. We are here to stay. There's such a Jewish pride here on the streets. We're happy to see Lubavitch organizing such a display and being able to stand up for Jewish pride. From Pico Robertson in Los Angeles, this is Shaul for Jew Tooth.